music on demand so you can pick and choose what you hear even on mobile it's offline listening so you can take your tracks to go it's unlimited song skips so you have control over your tracks on any device dive back into premium tap the banner to learn more Thank you. 
Mark Z, the cargo dragon on its way. To really shots from Greg Slope on site as well, the darkness there allowed him to capture that amazing diesel's plume. Nice work there, Greg. The beautiful darkness there, of course, the main engine cut off, nothing much out of the ordinary there. But after stage separation, just check out the beautiful interactions with the exhaust plume from the first and second stage there. That just looked incredible from the ground as well, with this great shot by Chris G on the NASA space flight league. Nice work there, tracking all that, Chris. The second stage pushed onwards for all the insertion while he did the booster ring its landing attempt. This makes the 90th successful landing and the first with a drone ship a short port of gravitas, which is the newest drone ship addition to the SpaceX fleet. After the booster was returned, SpaceX pulled some terrific thing landing footage right off it. There we go, there, a 100% success rate so far for this new drone ship. A quick shout out to Steve and Mar as well, picking up some incredible aerial shots of it coming back in the port. So after all the booster exhausts, we saw the typical second stage engine cut off and separation of cargo dragon as it began to then chase down the international space station. Fast forward around 30 hours or so, and we see here the cargo dragon on its final approach to the docking port of the international space station's armory module. Here it's joined the crew 2 dragon, which is scheduled to return to Earth early to mid-November, along with Sigma 16, Soyuz MS-18, and Progress 78. It's, it's busy up there. Congratulations yet again, SpaceX, with another perfectly executed mission. In other dragon updates, we of course are all desperately waiting to see news on Inspiration 4, which will certainly be the event of the month. Just check out these new photos shared here by Jared with the new cupola, which is now part of the Dragon Resilience Vessel. This is going to provide amazing views of Earth while on the mission. I just can't wait to see all the photos and videos from this view. Tony Bell, he created terrific renders to celebrate this upcoming mission as well. As far as we know, this is all set to launch on the 15th of September, just a little over a week away now. And so we had a very interesting astro launch this week as well. Our friends at NASA Space Flight usually covered their third orbital launch attempt from Kodiak Island in Alaska earlier this week. On board this video, which was first ever test pilot to launch the US Department of In just a few moments, the engines have burned through enough propellant to lower the total mass of the vehicle and have it steadily climb once again. With the orbit being gone for this mission, this outcome was a little disappointing as the vehicle could never make it there with an engine loss this early. However, all data is good data, and at this point, the objective became simply reaching max Q, which they did some two and a half minutes later. As the vehicle passed through the zone just above 30 kilometres, the engines were shut down with ground control issuing the command to safely terminate the flight. It's always sad, of course, to see a mission not achieve its primary objective, but the team at ASTRA will be working closely with the FAA to investigate what happened before making the necessary corrections. So, this is like a of data to review. It must have been a weird